Welcome back YouTube, fellow berserkers. A quick video in between repairs to the fire pit. This is the new Viking fire pit of death and destruction. Well, that's kind of overkill, but it did take me all day crawling on hands and knees in the mud. This is... The old fire pit was round and it was always difficult to set things in there. There's a unique feature to this new idea I had here. Which I'll explain in a second. Now you can have your local, your central fire. I can still use my my barbecue setup, hopefully. If not, then I'll be blacksmithing some new iron pieces there to so I could still use it for barbecue. I have right here where the corner is right here. I have an air pipe. There's actually a pipe. Let's see if I can actually see it if this falls in there my phone is dead forever there's a hole i think you can see it yeah there's a pipe that runs over here and underneath that rock that's where it gets its air so that the fire pit always has a f air flow from the side from inside the fire pit that reduces the smoke and also reduces the amount of smoke that people get to see and smell from far away which is not good when you have the fire department right around the corner yeah that's happened all day i had the trailer full of of rocks that's actually i've had the trailer this whole corner here was full of rocks big sized rocks i used to fill up the center of the fire pit this was an extremely difficult job to get this in the trailer this is so sticky this is um what do you call it clay yeah i've actually found some clay and i have a big amount of it i'm going to be getting some more here but i need to get this out of the trailer so i'm working on using most of it up i'm out of water my water supply ran out so i have to call it quits for today thought i'd show you guys what i've been up to in between projects here quick video this should be done Probably by the end of tomorrow night. I'm still going to fill all this in and make a nice solid trim to the fireplace. And then I have to see how I'm going to reuse my my tripod. It's going to be tricky. I didn't think about that. Uh, maybe It may still fit. If not, I'll just handy dandy forge, get some iron. And we're going to have to figure something out. <laughs> other than that I was able to pave all of this I did this all by hand yeah, I did all this by hand with the trailer there's like 15 trailers of gravel and all by hand I plan on putting a table over there and running a tarp over kind of diagonal across in between those two trees and it's going to be a nice little corner to sit in the shade we'll see about how that goes Friday or Saturday, I'm getting two more large oak trees. I'm excited. It's going to be really cool. Like always. You know, a little corner right here. I'll to show you real quick before I complete this video. Oh, i got to fix that. That's right. This fell down earlier. Oops. This is my... There we go. Ooh. Ha -ha. Let's fix that. Yeah, that's... Uh, that nail isn't too... Too strong. I'm going to do something about that tomorrow. But that's not supposed to be on the ground. I was throwing boulders for my original Viking fire pit. You can see in the first Viking campfire video. Those were buried in the fire pit deep down. I had to dig them all back up. That was fun. Oh boy. Yeah, there's two gigantic ones on the other side. I couldn't throw them over. But those are going to go here. And this area that's overgrown right here is going to turn into a Viking altar. I have my figures at home. That's another project for another day. That's it, YouTube. Stay safe, and hopefully this blooms here, and my bees are coming soon. Catch you all later. See you soon.